Hey everybody, welcome to Art Talk Tuesday. My name is Jackie G and I'm with Gortzman's Art Supplies here in Toronto. For those of you that still don't know us, and I do this every, almost every Tuesday, um, this is to let you know about who we are. We've been in art materials for over 50 years. We're located in downtown Toronto between two, I think, the best locations, Kensington Market and Chinatown, both historical areas. And we've been in this building for over 75 years, so if you're ever in the area, please come in and check us out. The floors are original, the walls are original, and the rest of us are not all original, but we're all here to show you what we have in art supplies. So every week I try and show you something that's a little bit different. We do get a couple requests. I'm always trying to tell you what's new in art materials, and I will tell you in advance today I have no notes, so it's going to be a little bit scary for me. I didn't have time to uh, write everything down. Uh, so a few things that I want to tell you, and first of all, hello to everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, I love getting comments and hearing from all of you, whether you stop in or send us a note, uh, just to say how much you really enjoy our chats. And uh, you can see these talks on our IGTV, Instagram IGTV, and also on YouTube. If you ever have any questions, you can send us an email to our customer service. You can give our staff a call. Oh, the phone is ringing, how apropos. And you can ask any questions. If you have any questions about any products that I talk about, or just in general, you can type them in while I'm chatting, and we can try and answer them while I'm chatting, or at some point afterward, we'll get back to you with all the information. Um, you can follow us on Instagram. If you like what you see, again, please like us. And if you're on Facebook, you can check it out. And uh, we're really quite active on all social media. And again, this is my way of connecting with all of you. It's hard, I know, sometimes when you go into an art supply store or any big box stores of any kind to shop for art supplies. That's what we're here for. If you come into our place, our staff are familiar. They're all artists, and they all are familiar with our supplies. And you can ask questions. You can ask about product, you can share ideas, you can meet other artists while you're here too, which is really kind of great. Um, so today, we actually had a request last week from someone who wanted to know about paper, and I decided to do a bit of a chat about watercolor paper. But first I wanted to tell you about a couple new things. Uh, there, Again, yes, we do have more new product in stock. Uh, we did bring in Montana Black for any of you that are interested in using any kind of spray paint on your canvases now. Uh, we do carry the Montana Black. Right now we've got 75 colors in stock. Uh, we hope to be adding more to it as we go along. Um, I'm sure there are lots of other things that arrived, but we're still getting some of them up on the website. For those of you that are fans of Rosa watercolors made in Ukraine, we've just received some sets. I'm not showing them today because we're still unpacking everything. So if you're a fan of Rosa, uh, you can look for it in the store and it'll, they'll be online. And I should mention any of our products are available both in the store and online. Uh, especially what I'm talking about today. There will be some items that will be online only uh, for now, but if you're ever interested, you can always ask the staff if you're in, and if they're able to, they, are, they can show them to you. Uh, we did just receive also a shipment from Holbein, so we are now stocking their um, Duo oils. Uh, so that is their water mixable oil paint and also their acrylic mat. So those will be, the acrylic mat will be in the store, the dual oil will be on the website only currently. Um, so let's get started. Let's talk about paper and papers and new things. So we did receive, and I wanted to show you, we're going to have a ch chat with them. It just didn't work out because of time uh, and timing. Uh, because of the difference in the time. So we are now stocking these amazing pads and covers from Paper Republic out of Vienna. So for those of you that are familiar with them, I'm going to turn it around because actually their logo is on the back. So there's their logo, Paper Republic. What I loved about them um, was how they sell their, their product. It's a real concept. It's a great concept behind it. And they love to show you, first of all, it is uh, a 
leather that is using a vegetable uh, dye. So they have a whole philosophy behind the leathers and I will not mess it up. That's why I'm hoping that we'll be able to chat with them probably next month when we can plan our time a little bit better or it'll be pre-taped. As I say, it's now three o'clock or five o'clock in the afternoon there. So I wanted to show you these because they are new for us. This is a new idea that we've never had before. And I'm going to open this up. So they have this elastic, this great elastic, and I'll show you all the things that, that you can get that we are now have in stock. So the elastic is used to keep it closed when you open it up. So the elastic is set from the inside. And then their concept is how to build on this, how to make this like your go-to. You're going to carry this everywhere, whether it's for writing, whether it's for drawing, whether it's for watercolor. And the idea is that you just keep adding to it. So when you order it, you do get one pad inside, just like that. And then you can add to it. So we've added one of their sketch pads to it just to show you. And again, if I want to add another one, and as I say, I don't want to mess it up because they have a real uh, following and a real concept. And I've watched the videos a million times, but I am no expert. And that's why I like to get the experts on so that I don't mess it up for you. Now, if I do this right, which I don't think I'm going to be doing it right, The whole idea is that you can fit another one of these in. Probably need the other elastic. And I've watched this already a thousand times and already I forget. Well, I'm not going to mess this up, but I'm going to show you that you can add. And their whole idea is that you keep adding to this and then you close it. And I've seen examples where they've actually added about 10, 12 books to this. So it could be about, you know, five inches thick, which is really kind of cool. You can put in any kind of their papers that they make, whether, again, it's for writing and drawing. They come in two sizes, and they come beautifully boxed. So I'm going to show you. This is how they come boxed. I'm not going to open it because I want you to do the unboxing this is the actual product that you'll get. This is the size, so we've got the four by six, and I'm just gonna grab one of these. This is the five and a half by eight and a half size that they have. And I wanna show you, so if when you buy them, you can also get all the different colored elastics. We're gonna be selling them individually so that you'll be able to get different colors, make it the way that you want. And also, just to show you, we've started only with a few colors, but these are the colors that they have available in the leather. So right now, we currently stock this color, the cognac. We have the chestnut, and we have the petroleum blue, which is probably my favorite. Um, but we have that in the two sizes. And we'll add to it. And if you want a custom order, if you want something specific, uh, in future we'll be able to order that for you along with our other shipments. So if there's something that you see or that you like, we can do that for you. Uh, the other cool thing that they do make are these bookmarks. And I've shown these before, and wow, they are tough. The whole idea is, is that when you have your book, let's do it with the leather because it'll look much more impressive. I just think they look great anyways, and it's really a strong example of a bookmark. You can hold it open just like that, so it'll, it'll keep the page, or you can move it like that so that you can keep your page open. You could add two to your page, I uh, keep moving them around, to keep your pages open. So they're quite versatile. What I do like about them is they're also very attractive and I could see myself using these on a variety of any of these brands sketch pads. It's not limited to this brand alone. Uh, they are that just, just so attractive. As I say, this is just a tough magnet, which is a good thing. Oh, and hold on a second. What the other thing you can do if you want to use it this way, is you're going to attach it. See, I'm fumbling today. <laughs> Just for argument's sake, I'm going to keep it simple for myself. 
So you can attach it that way, you could attach it to the leather, and there's your pen holder. So you, we f have tried to fit a few different size pens through it, and they fit. So the idea is you've got everything with you. You don't have to think about it. And again, we'll have them on from Paper Republic. I can't wait for them to explain the whole concept to you. I think it's great, but I wanted to show you this just in case you're thinking of something very unique for Mother's Day. Uh, we do have these in the store and on the website. So they're really, really quite beautiful. And also, if we're thinking about it, Father's Day is coming up. Don't wait too late. You know, you, we always scramble at the last second trying to think of what they'd like. So I did want to show you that again. We'll keep featuring the Paper Republic product. Uh, I'm very excited. As I, Again, this is something new for us as far as a stationary line. Uh, and I just think it's quite unique. It'll go great with any of our lead holders and fountain pens. And we also saw um, examples of customers who have used watercolor in them. So since it is watercolor month here at Gortzman's, uh, I do have to tell you I have seen watercolor work done in these books. So it is possible and makes them extremely portable. If you're traveling this summer, they're great. Uh, how to keep everything together. So again, Paper Republic product. Uh, so then I wanted to just talk a little bit about paper. Now paper is a very long topic. Uh, it can be quite controversial because there are so many different types of papers. I wanted to focus a little bit on watercolor paper. Uh, there are oodles of brands. Oodles. Lots, lots, lots of brands. I'll tell you about some of the brands that we stock, why we stock them, what I like about them, a bit about weight and texture. Uh, this is not going to be everything because it would, again, take me hours to tell you about everything. But each brand is unique for what they do. And that's what makes it great. So there, you have so many options that when you go into an art supply store, ask the questions. Ask where, where you're starting from. Are you a beginner? If you're a professional, you may know what you want. You may be looking for something new because there are new options out there. Uh, really check it out. And again, I'll tell you about some of the brands and why we stock them. So we'll start from this side just because the way we set it up and it's just a little bit easier. First of all, if you're still making any cards for Mother's Day for your aunts, girlfriends, friends, partners, whoever, watercolor cards. Now I happen to like this format. I like the landscape style. You're not stuck on that. I just like the packaging and I happen to pick that one. But what's nice about this is you can really make it personal. If you, Even if you want to use these for birthdays or any other time of the year or just to give someone a gift with your artwork on it, uh, these are a really nice solution and they do include envelopes. They're 140 pound paper. Uh, so even if someone likes it, they could still frame it and it would look really, really gorgeous. So these are by Strathmore, and I'm sure uh, many of you are familiar with all the Strathmore watercolor cards. They've been around forever. Now, Bockingford uh, from St. Cuthbert's Mill, and I know I've probably got a Saunders here somewhere, but Saunders and um, uh, Bockingford is made by St. Cuthbert's Mill in England. And I'll tell you, I have a, a bit of a, a fondness for this company uh, when I was much younger. I won't tell you how much, how long ago. I had the opportunity to visit the mill when it was still owned by the St. Cuthbert's people. Uh, and now it's been sold to um, uh, Fabriano. But um, so anyways, it was a great company. It was just really great to see how they process the paper and manufacture it. Bockingford is their... It's an acid-free paper, but it is mold-made, so it doesn't have any rag in it. Uh, this comes in a couple different, many different formats. I just happen to pick these because they're small and my table is not that big. Uh, you can get them in cold press and hot press and rough. Uh, they come in blocks. They come in your spiral, all different shapes. Um, and if you're looking for the artist quality, and I'm going to see if I just grabbed one. Maybe I didn't. Uh, you can get it in the Saunders, and Saunders is also artist quality. So that is 100% rag paper, equally just as beautiful and acid-free, 140 pound, uh, and highly recommend you check them out. So 
We do always carry a nice selection of less expensive pads. I think it's important just to have them available, uh, just in case you're out and about or if you want something that's just easy so or if you're trying it for the first time. The Canson XL Mixed Media are a great pad. Now, these are not made for watercolor. They're really made for doing dry media, but if you're doing a light wash, I highly recommend the mixed media pads. The papers are perforated, so they call it a micro perf, which means that if you want to take them out, you're going to have a nice clean line inside, so it's something that you could still frame and hang on to. The paper is acid free, which is great, so another good one to look at. Oh, and we do have, you see, so there we go. There's your Saunders. Thanks, Olivia. Olivia grabbed some for me. So these come in a number of different formats, and this is your 100% rag acid-free paper. And this, is, again, is Saunders, uh, made out of uh, from St. Cuthbert's Mill in England. So I'm just going to move that over here because I still got so many more things to show you. The Canson XL, nice one, also comes also in this hardcover version. For some. Some people, the soft cover is a little bit too soft. So the hard cover, same thing. It's got a micro perf, uh, so it's easy. And being left-handed, I might find this gets in the way. So I have no problem flipping it around and using it from the back. It really, whether the, where the stamp is on the cover doesn't matter. It doesn't change the way that the paper looks. It's what's going to be easiest for you to use it, which is important. Newer to, for all of us, is the Windsor Newton watercolor paper. They've been making this for the past few years. Uh, so we do carry them. I like the Windsor Newton brand. Uh, their paper is quite nice. Uh, this happens to be their acid-free. This is a mold-made paper. And they come in a variety of formats. Now, I will always show the little ones because these can be used either for small paintings or postcards or whatever you like. Oh, this one is actually set up like a postcard. You see, I grab it and then I don't even remember what I'm taking. But we've got so many different types of pads that, ah, it's just a lot. It's a lot to show. Okay, so let's move these over. So I always talk about family business, small businesses, you know, companies we want to support. This is SMLT. They're out of Lithuania. Uh, they make a really nice line of acid-free papers. This happens to be their watercolor line. Beautiful, very, very popular. They come in a variety of formats, whether it be the coil. This is their one of their newer ones, which is a block, like really thick. This one's probably got about 30 sheets in it. Uh, kind of cool. Acid-free paper. Then you've got the square format, which is great for your Instagramming. So any of you that want to show off your work, uh, they come in a couple different sizes. There you go. There's another one. I also grabbed their mixed media, which is extremely popular. Again, if you want to do a little bit of a wash on it, they would work great. Um, so we have these SMLT from Lithuania. Check them out. Then we go into the Van Gogh, and this happens to be, and uh, I'm sure you can tell from the cover, so this is a black paper. Companies are starting to get back into making really, really good black format paper. It was hard for a while. I think there was an issue with the dyes to get something as an intense color. Uh, so this one is a small format. Uh, this is a, a 140 pound approximately, and you've got all kinds of black paper, which would look great with all the new metallics that are out or your inks or anything that you're using that's really going to pop on this type of paper. And of course, you've got your tried and true. We've got our shiz, and I wanted to talk to you about these because now we can talk about, and I should also mention because, you know, you forget about all the different varieties that these companies make. So our shiz makes now their pads. So these are loose sheets. These are 140 pound. Uh, and so this is great. A lot of people like these because it is less expensive than a block. Um, they come in a few different sizes, which is convenient. Uh, it has less sheets, so it does make it more affordable, and you get to try the paper. Now, I've picked, obviously, you can see that there are two different colors, and I'm going to 
hold up the other one so you can see this. Now, in watercolor paper, you can get three, typically, of different finishes. So you would get your cold press, which is your standard medium surface, great, not a high grain, going to show you, you know, you're going to see a little bit of texture when you put your paint down. Uh, then you would go into hot press, and hot press always means no texture. It's smooth. So when you put your paint down, it's going to be like some of the other drawing pads where they have no texture to it. But they're made still to absorb your paint beautifully. It's just not going to have that little bit of leveling on it when you're, when you're putting down the paint, which is typical for watercolor painting. And then, of course, you would go with the rough. And rough is not the most popular out of all the textures because it has the most texture. I didn't grab anything to show you, but because also every company is a little bit different. So a rough with arches may be a little bit different than a rough with, let's say, Saunders. Same thing with the cold press. The cold press in Saunders is not as textured as the one with arches. So you've got three different textures that you can choose from. Always ask if you're not sure which one is going to be good for what you're doing, or if you're, you know, it's always good to experiment too. And speaking about blocks, blocks now come in a huge variety of formats. So again, we get squares, we get our standard, they also make now landscape size, you can get all different kinds to suit what you're doing. The idea behind a block, in case you aren't familiar with blocks, is that the paper is glued down on all sides. And I'll show you that if you can see it, you see it's got a black surface there. This has all been glued down. So when you open this up, you're not going to be able to raise the, the sheets. It's, it's done for a reason, so that when you paint on it, and if you put a little bit more paint, the, the paper isn't going to buckle. The thing is, when, you wanna, when you're finished, then you want to lift it and you're going to have to take a knife or something. They usually come with a bit of an edge to help you and then you're going to slide a knife all the way around to loosen your first sheet. But that's the reason why you buy a block is so that you don't have to worry about taping down the paper or that it's going to buckle if you do too much. But I'm going to show you another option because there is another brand that's been out and I've been a fan of this style also for a long time. So this is called Fluid, and these are made by Speedball now. Now, the whole idea, they do make their blocks, and they're amazing. And what I like about them is they are only glued on two sides. So there is glue on, oh, I guess you could call it the top and the bottom. But the two sides are open. So if you want to slide a knife in and you're a little concerned about it, I'll do it from this side so you can see it. You see, so that you're really only dealing with two sides to try and loosen the pad. Now, fluid comes in your cold press, also comes in hot press, comes in all different sizes, anywhere from about a 4 by 6 all the way up to, I think, 16, 20, or 18, 24. Um, and they're in blocks. So these are great. And then they've come out with their 100% rag. So these are all cotton. This is top of the line paper made in, in the Netherlands. Same idea that they do it with also glued on two sides. And they also come in all different formats. If you're looking for the decal edge, most of these brands do not put them into put them in the pads or the blocks with decal edge. It's too hard to glue it down. If you like the decal edge, then you have to buy a full sheet and then cut it down so that you can see the decal on your work. Uh, there are so many options. And then I should talk about, since we've got it here, we also stock Hannemul, and Hannemul is out of Germany. Now, what I do like about this brand is that they are vegan, so they're not using any animal sizing to make the paper. They also are trying to be carbon neutral. There's a whole history and story behind it. Um, they're just a really nice company and they make so many different formats. So this one is their 100% rag paper. Uh, it comes in a 140 pound, we stock them in the blocks. Uh, so they come in different sizes and then they also make their mold made if you want to test it out see how much you like it uh, these also we have in a couple different sizes and 
textures and you can and you can see them so when as i say if you're looking for something that's vegan that would be from hanimal and hanimal also i should tell you has a really good relationship with schmincke um, a lot of their testers and their new dot cards are all on the hanimal paper so if you're looking to try it you'll be able to see it uh, we're hoping to get some of the dot cards in very shortly uh, so you'll be able to buy the schmincke watercolors on the paper from hanimal um, if, in case you're curious, I can tell you that Arsha still uses an animal sizing. So any of you that are wondering about that, they do use the animal sizing. Uh, I'm just going to move along. Does anybody have any questions so far? We're still good? Okay, well, that, that's good. Again, I, this is not to tell you everything because it would take me forever. And every brand has so many different options. It's uh, a lot to learn, a lot for us to remember too. But the important things are that you have so many options to choose from uh, depending on what you're looking for, whether it's a texture, whether it's a, per, uh, you know, a certain brand, whether it's a weight, whether it's uh, vegan, you know, you have the options now to choose what you like. So Legion uh, now makes all of the Stonehenge watercolor papers. So we have them in, this happens to be black. We do have them in a few other formats, but I'm trying to show you that there are different options. Uh, this one is hot press, so there's no texture to it. So just imagine you're putting your paint down and it's almost like, I guess painting on Bristol board, but much, much better. I mean, this is, this is a high-end watercolor paper. So these are kind of cool to consider. And then we've got, you know, lots of options, whether you want something, this is a really nice one made from, uh, this is out of Royal Talons. This is their one, which is an ode to the, uh, to Van Gogh. Yes, one of my favorite artists and from the National Gallery. So these are just really, really attractive looking paper, mold made, so it's not top of the line, mid range. You can go to Magnani, which of course makes these amazing round, blocks i mean these are just so cool uh really really great actually i should tell you we are getting in some round blocks from smlt they will be arriving very soon so they'll be kind of cool to check out as well and the magnani which is kind of neat they come with their own carrying bag so if you want a storage bag or something for this pad they're the only brand that i've seen that that's done this uh, so you can certainly check it out this is a top of the line paper so it's not on the less expensive side but it is unique so there you go someone hasn't asked yet but I'm going to tell you so the difference is between mold made and then 100% cotton cotton is supposed to last longer it's supposed to absorb your paint a lot better if you're just starting if you're really just getting to know watercolors and you want to fool around with it I would highly suggest using a mold made paper just to practice if you're going out you know you're an urban sketcher and you're not sure what you're doing use the mold made papers they're still acid free so you can still hang it up and it'll last for a long time uh, for yellowing then of course we've got these from Strathmore which I still think are great because picture frames come in very traditional sizes. These are pre-cut sheets to fit standard picture frames. Uh, so if it's something that you're looking for, uh, these have been extremely popular. They sell out almost every time we bring them in. The 500 is the Strathmore. This is their top of the line. So if you're looking for their paper with a bit of texture, they come in, I think, three different sizes. I don't know what we've got in stock, but it's certainly something to take a look at. Wow. Okay, I've talked a lot. Is there any questions that anybody's asked? I'm sure I've forgotten to tell you something. But things are made really now to be... Um, you know, years ago we had certain brands that were only available to us. Now there are oodles. It, as I say, for me, it makes it great to be able to tell you you've got so many options that you can't really go wrong. Yes, you're going to get people that will recommend certain ones. Sometimes it's because they like a particular texture or they like a certain weight or they like a certain brand. And if it's a certain brand, okay, that's fine. But it's really the texture and the weight that I think you want to look at check out all these different brands they all are absolutely amazing i highly recommend all of them 
um, that is why we carry them. And I should tell you that uh, being an independent, I don't have to, you know, I can talk to any of our reps, I can talk to any of our people, and, you know, between the staff and I, we make decisions on why we want to stock these products. Of course, I always have my favorites for whatever reason, um, but it's really great for you to be able to see that the options are almost endless. Uh, we do have some new pads coming in in the next few weeks, uh, some very exciting new product. Um, we're just waiting for shipments to arrive. And I think there's a question, actually. Uh, Merrick wants to know what the most popular finish that Gordsman sells is, is it cold pressed or hot? Uh, and hello Merrick. Merrick is now in Poland, so I don't know what time it is there, but hello Merrick and Isabel. It's 6 p.m. <laughs> uh, 6 o'clock, okay. Actually, I would say that cold press is still the most popular. I think that most watercolor artists find it most uh, comfortable to use that texture. I should ask Merrick because he is a watercolor artist which one he favors. I know he likes to use large format as an urban sketcher which most people don't um, but if Merrick gets a chance he can write us back and he can tell us what is his favorite. Anybody else have any questions? No. So if you're an urban sketcher, if you're new to watercolor, if you're new to painting, oh, we have more questions coming in, but just give me a second. You know, you have many, many options to try. I love writing postcards. I love sending postcards, especially when I'm traveling. It's a great thing to be able to just do a quick little doodle or something on something and then send it very personal to someone while you're actually traveling. What is the question? Merrick says he likes rough. Ah. And uh, Alexandra's art and sanity yes. uh, says, will you consider bringing in the mini Legion pads? They're a great way to try out different paper types. Yes, we've considered it uh, for the Legion paper. There are a lot of people who have a certain favorite in Legion, but yes, we are looking at the mini pads. As I say, we have new stock coming in all the time, so it just keeps... You just got to keep following us so you get to see all the new things that are arriving. Always something new. I guess I've dazzled you all again. Well, thank you, Merrick. Thank you for sharing. As I say, I know Merrick is uh, traveling right now, and I'm sure if you see his posts, uh, he's done some beautiful work in, uh, from Poland right now. And if you are also looking at trying urban sketching, the urban sketching uh, group is having their 10th anniversary. There is a weekend, July 15th and 16th in July, that there is going to be all kinds of... Um, uh, if you want to do a demo, if you want to take a class, or if you want to see what they're all about, uh, that's in July, and you can check out Urban Sketchers Toronto. Uh, any of the people who are in Gradex, wow, amazing work. I don't want to forget to say that. I had a chance to go and see it last weekend, and I probably could have spent a lot more time there, um, but it was really, really, really great work. So congrats to all the students graduating this year. Uh, if you're in the area, go to Boji. There are two shows on right now. Uh, there, Vicki Smith and also Alex Cameron. And also Mike Adamson has a show on at his studio. So there's a lot of artists showing right now. You have to go check them all out. Uh, we've just got to take lots of time and go check out the art that is happening. Um, can't think of anything else because it's still May, but it is watercolor month here at Gwartzman, so there is more stuff happening. Next week we will be, I hope, I'm waiting for confirmation with Tim Hopper, whose company uh, Holbein represents Holbein Japan, and we'll be able to chat about all the products from Holbein. So until next week, have a great wait, have a great week, have a great day, and please, most important, keep on creating. Bye-bye for now.